Hey, what's up guys? Going to be doing a movie review today, and that is The Terminator, which came out in 1984. It's directed by James Cameron, stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michael Bean, Linda Hamilton. This movie is a classic sci-fi action picture, but also horror. <laughs> Uh, it's played out like a horror film as well. So I like the blend, the combination. Kind of reminds me of, you know, Predator and... They have similarities with the blend of different genres. And this movie's just... There's a lot of passion that was put into this film. James Cameron was starting out he was very hungry, very passionate. It shows on screen his artistic vision. This is the James Cameron I miss. Now I respect his newer works like Avatar and Titanic even though it's not my thing. To me his best films are The Terminator and Aliens. From the 80s, 80s James Cameron at, you know, his best, you know, at his prime. And this film, it's just, it has a really great story, it has great action, great visuals, great craftsmanship by James Cameron. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a badass villain in this film. He's a cyborg assassin that's sent back in time from 2029 to the present time, which was in 1984. And his mission is to kill Sarah Connor, that's uh, played by Linda Hamilton, because her son will, you know, be the resistance and fight against the machines and that in this whole dystopian post-apocalyptic type of world future and Michael Bean who plays Kyle which is a soldier that gets sent back in time to save and protect you know, Sarah Connor from getting killed. You know. And he's, his mission is to destroy this machine. This Terminator. Michael Bean, you know, Kyle Reese's character. Him and Sarah Connor. They fall in love with each other. I mean, Reese basically went back in time to save her and protect her but he also loved her he always held a picture of her that John gave him of her he always you know wondered what she you know was thinking about when the picture was you know how the how she looked in the picture he always wondered what she was thinking about she just looked like she was lost in thought in the picture so um he held on to that picture. It's like almost like he's in a time loop because, you know, both of them eventually, you know, get intimate. And um, when, you know, Reese dies in the final act of the film by the Terminator, um, you know, and then when Sarah defeats the Terminator she's pregnant later on in the you know, film towards the very end and um, it's almost like a time loop that they're having because Kyle Reese is the father of her son John Connor who's going to lead the resistance you know it's kind of interesting but yeah, I, uh, I also really like the soundtrack to this film. 
The music's just awesome. The Terminator main theme. Everything about this film is perfect. It's really just... It's an awesome movie. I love the visuals in this film. It's like... You know, looking at a piece of artwork. Especially in the whole scene. In the uh, club scene. Where Sarah's at. She's sitting. She's scared. Because... There's been news reports of Sarah Connors being killed left and right. So she's getting scared about this guy. And the Terminator comes in, walking through the crowd of people enjoying themselves at the club and dancing. And Reese is there as well. It's just this build up and slow motion and cinematography and the colors and everything it's just the way it's done it's just freaking awesome that scene alone I mean there's a lot of those moments a lot of those great memorable scenes but just a lot of great scenes in there I mean, the tagline, the memorable line, I'll be back, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. That line has stayed with him since. The special effects are pretty good. I mean, obviously, they didn't have a lot of money, so at times it looks a little... You know, it's not as solid as, you know, newer films or films that you know had a higher budget than this film but I mean the only complaint I can say is that in the bathroom scene where Arnold is you know taking his eye out and he's opening up his arm with the you know if was it exacto knife he's using or something and um he's looking through it, the inside of his arm and because I guess he's malfunctioning or something in his arm you know and then like they have a it's obvious not Arnold Schwarzenegger it's like a machine or something with you know it looks it looks like a prop but it doesn't distract too much or say oh this is horrible special effects I mean, it's good for its time period, and it still looks, even for something that you can tell it's not, you know, real. Because later on, in Terminator 2, they use actual CGI or use something on Arnold's face to make it look like, you know, his skeleton, like his endoskeleton, his flesh was coming off. You could see the endoskeleton, so it made it look more realistic than this. It's just a but it's not too bad. I mean, and the the epic ending of the film, you know, um, the whole endoskeleton machine, you know, after the truck explodes with Arnold in it, you know, Reese puts pipe bomb and whole truck explodes and Reese and Sarah Connor they you know hug each other and it's like they feel like it's the end and all of a sudden rises from the fire and ashes is this machine <laughs> which is very epic to this day they still haven't recreated this awesome scene this epic scene in the other sequels. Never. No matter how much special effects they are better or improved, it's still not as epic as this. Because this movie is intense, it's scary, it's sci-fi, it's action-packed, it's always on the run with these characters, with this Reese character trying to protect Sarah Connor, Arnold is relentless and he wants to destroy 
Sarah Connor. He's killing everybody in his path to destroy her, to terminate her. That's his mission, that's what he's gonna do. And, um, yeah. But that machine at the end is cool. Awesome. There's a lot of cool scenes in this film. And it's very entertaining. And I absolutely love this film. This is my favorite Terminator movie. A lot of people say Terminator 2 Judgment Day is the best film in the series. I disagree. The Terminator 1984 classic film to me is the best in the series. Has the best story. I like the you know when Reese is talking about the future you see the future of these soldiers people fighting these machines. I love seeing that you know you get a glimpse of the future as Reese is talking about or dreaming about it or anything like that you see that and it was really cool that at the end of the you know towards the end they show the machine that Stan Winston created that was very clever and smart because probably people were not expecting to see such a cool looking machine like that they probably just thought it was going to be a B movie or I think people were completely surprised by this film and blown away by how good it was, how smart it was, how intelligent it was. This isn't just a typical sci-fi movie. This movie has layers to it. I can go on and on about this film. But I'm going to end it here to say that this is my favorite Terminator in the series in the franchise. I love this movie. It's a great movie. Anyways, this is my review of The Terminator. Hope you enjoy this review and I hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.